Hello, I'm Dr. Penny Sutcliffe. Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Young Hoon. Dr. Glenn Corneo. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. John Guilfoyle. Hello, I'm Dr. Marlene Spruitt. Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Liu. Hi, I'm Dr. Leanne Catton. Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Cherico. Hi, I'm Dr. Janet DeMille. Our healthcare system is stretched, even in normal time. If COVID rates increase in our community, we might be quickly overwhelmed. Your public health team's got your back. If you're diagnosed with COVID-19 or you've been exposed to the virus, we jump right in and put out that fire to prevent spread. We protect you, our community, and our healthcare system. But if there's too many fires, we just can't put them all out. One of the things we've learned about this virus is it likes crowds. Celebrations like birthday parties, baby showers, and weddings are now all places where COVID-19 can spread. Avoid crowds, avoid enclosed spaces, and avoid those behaviors which are most likely to spread the virus. If you have any symptoms, even if they seem really mild, please stay home and call for testing. While we need to protect one another from COVID-19, there are those among us that are more at risk of suffering and dying from the virus. We need to act as though exposure to COVID-19 is both possible and probable in every interaction every day, regardless of whether or not cases have been announced in our community. That is why we are recommending local measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19. I know this isn't easy, but we will get through this pandemic. People who need to self-isolate often feel unwell, lonely, scared, and helpless, especially if they can't go to work or look after family for 14 days. So when we hear of someone who's been affected, instead of shaming or gossip, let's be part of their care team. The COVID-19 is really stretching our patients, but it's also giving us a unique chance to strengthen our patients' muscles. So dig deep, be kind, help each other out, assume the best of intentions in others. If we all act now to slow the spread, we will all benefit in the short and long term. We already know what to do. We must continue to take all those basic measures. Make screening for COVID-19 a part of your daily routine. It's very important to continue with frequent hand washing, either using soap and warm water or alcohol-based sanitizer. Please avoid non-essential travel. Face coverings and distance are required for everyone, everywhere. So put on your mask, keep your distance, tell the virus, you're the boss. What might have been just a cold last year is no longer just a cold. It is essential that if you have any symptom of COVID-19 to please stay home and get tested. Start feeling better and you may think that you can stop self-isolating, but it's really important to continue to self-isolate until you get that negative result. Thank you for postponing those parties, for distancing, masking, and doing that self-check for symptoms every day before heading out that door. Thank you very much for all that you've done. We would like to thank all the residents of our communities for the hard work that they've done over the last few months. Thank you all for the sacrifices you have made. Thank you for all that you have done. A great thank you from my perspective. This is not easy and it is much appreciated. Thank you for everything that you have done so far. Thank you, merci, make We've got this, Northern Ontario.